Well, I'm a little bit concerned about Frederick because he seems scared to speak up in class. Um, I, I, he actually seems afraid to talk. Oh, uh, that's wildly inaccurate. He's actually really talented and gifted when it comes to language I'm skills. I'm sure He's he actually has... named after Frederick Douglass, you know, the, uh, the great abolitionist orator, you know, Frederick Douglass. I don't know. She doesn't know black history. Well, Maybe if I'm you understood sure... the history of the oppressed, you'd know how you were oppressing your you students. Do you understand the history of the oppressed? I do, because uh, I'm Jewish. I'm actually a psychiatrist. I'm a, I'm a PhD. Um, yeah. Are you a PhD? Yeah. How no, high up did no, you go I, in? I have school? a college degree. Oh, you're like Jim. Jim only has a master's. So let me just share well, maybe that. You I would think. Like excuse to, me. Um, and I'm to, just going to well, actually just, give you like, a little bit of a progress report. You can uh, talk. I'm thinking maybe that uh, if you were kinder and able to reach out, <laughs> uh, maybe the students wouldn't see you as um, untrustworthy. Listen, I think what might need to happen here is that we talk to your principal and have Frederick put into a more advanced teacher's class. I think to have him challenged would be great and exciting for him as a, as a boy, as a prospective man. I, I think maybe you're not I, intelligent enough to handle excuse someone me? who knows how to draw out a I student. I want you to stop right there. I'm sorry, you are being so incredibly rude. That is inappropriate. Maybe your son can't speak up because he doesn't get a chance to talk, and so therefore he has no identity. Who is he? Who is Frederick? Who knows? I am here to help. Are you going to say anything? I'd agree with that. <laughs>